Hi, this is next part of Laravel tutorial for beginner series and in this part we will learn how to update or edit MySQL table data from our Laravel application. In previous part we have already discussed how to install Laravel clone application, how to make database connection, how to create table from Laravel application. In previous part we have already discussed how to insert data into MySQL table and we have also seen how to retrieve data from MySQL database and display on the view file in Laravel. Now we want to update particular student data which we can see here. This data has been loaded from MySQL Laravel testing database student table. Now we want a particular student data. So first we have go to index.blade.php view file from we can see all student data on web page. So here first we have to make edit data anchor link. So here we have write anchor tag with that attribute ref is equal to double curly bracket and between this we have write action statement with open and close bracket with two argument. So in first argument we have write student controller name at the rate edit method and in second argument we have write dollar row id variable which print particular student id and in anchor text we have write edit. Now here we can see web page and here we cannot see any edit link on web page, so now we have refresh page and we can see edit link and this link has been redirect to student controller edit method. So we have go to student controller.php file and here we can see edit method with dollar id argument. First under this we have write dollar student variable is equal to student model class with find method with dollar id variable as argument. This find function will search particular student data into student table in MySQL database based on the value of this dollar id variable which it will receive from anchor tag and will fetch that particular student data which we have stored into this dollar student variable in array format. Now we want to send value of this dollar student variable to edit.blade.php view file which we have already created under resources slash view folder. So we have write return statement with view method with two argument. In first argument we have write root student dot edit and in second argument we have write compact method with two argument like student and did. Here student is folder name under resources folder slash views folder slash student in which we have store view file for student and here we have already created edit.blade.php file and under this file we will load student data in form. Same way here this compact function will create an array from this dollar students variable which we can access in edit view file in student folder. Now we have go to edit.blade.php file here we want to extend master.blade.php file template under this file. So we have simply write at the rate extends with open and close bracket and between this we have write file named master. After this we have write at the rate section directive with open and close bracket and between bracket we have write content. Here this directive defines section of content while this at the rate yield directive will display content on a give section. Now first we want to close this section directive so we have right at the rate end section directive, it will close this directive. Between this we have write some HTML code. Now we have start create form for edit student data. So here we write form tag with attribute method is equal to post and action is equal to to open and close bracket. 
and between this we have right action method with argument. In first argument we have right student controller at the rate update method and in second argument we have right dollar id variable. Here we have define form submission action we have sent to student controller update method and here dollar id variable value we will get from student controller edit method. Under this form first we have write to open and close curly bracket and between this we have write this method, it used for handle mass exception argument. After this we have write input type is equal to hidden with attribute name is equal method and value is equal to patch, here we have define laravel patch method instead of put method. Now first we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to first name and value is equal to open and close to curly bracket and between this we have write dollar student first name variable which will fill text box with first name table column data. Same way below we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to last name and value is equal to open and close curly bracket and between this we have write dollar student variable with last name variable it will fill this text box with last name table column data. Lastly we want to define form submit button, so we have write input type is equal to submit, by clicking on this button we can send form data to student controller which we will create. Now we have go to student controller file update method, because our form is ready for send update student data request to this update method. So under this method we have first write validation rules, so here we have write dollar this with validate method with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar request variable and in second argument we have define validation rule like first name text box value is required, last name text box value required. So when form submitted for edit student data. Then this method will call and under this first it will validate both form field has some value then it will proceed for edit data otherwise it will redirect to edit method which will load student form with validation error. Now we have proceed for update data, so we have write dollar student variable is equal to student model class with find method with dollar id variable as argument. Below this we have write dollar student variable with first name is equal to dollar request with get method and under this method we have write text box name first name. Same way for last name we have write dollar student variable with first name is equal to dollar request variable with get method and under this method we have write last. This code will get form text box with name like first name and last name value and store under this above student variable. Now we have write student variable with save method. This method will update existing student data. This method is used for both insert new data and update existing data. Lastly we want to redirect to index method, so we have write redirect statement with redirect method with root method and under this we have write student.index blade file name. After this we have write with method with two argument, in first argument we have write success and in second argument we have write success message like data updated. This code will redirect to index page and it will display this data updated success message on web page and for display this message code we have already write in previous page. Lastly we want write code for display validation error on edit.blade.php page, so we have go to this page. And here we want to display validation error, so we have write at the rate if directive with condition like count function with dollar error variable value greater than zero. 
for close this if block of code here we have right at the rate end diff statement. This condition will check if dollar error array has some value then it will execute this if block of code. Suppose above condition true then it will execute this block of code and under this we have right at the rate for each directive with dollar errors with all method as dollar error. By using this directive we can fetch error from this dollar error variable and display on web page and for close this directive we have write this at the rate end for each. Under this block we have write list tag and between this tag we have write to bracket and between this bracket we have write dollar error variable, it will print all validation error on this page. Now our code is ready so we have save all pages code and check output in browser. Friends here we have already loaded index method of student controller and here we can see student data in table format with edit data link. So here we have click on particular student edit link and after clicking on this link page has been redirect to edit method which loads student edit form with filled particular student data. Now here we can edit student data. So first we have check validation. So we have first blank first name checkbox and click on edit button. After clicking on edit button we have received validation error like first name is required. So now we have write Michelle in place of Peter and clicking edit button. So after clicking on edit button page has been redirect to index method with success message like data updated on web page. So this way we can update or edit existing MySQL table data in Laravel framework. So in this part we have discussed how to load particular existing MySQL table data in form and then after we have discussed how to update or edit that form data in Laravel framework. Here we have discussed two method of Laravel CRUD controller like edit method for load particular student data in form and update method handle edit or update form request. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.